This is Old Oak Common, which right now is a train depot in one of the most deprived parts of London. But if they build HS2, this whole area will be transformed. It will turn into one of the five busiest train stations in the whole country. You may not realise this, but what you've just seen is a little bit of BBC News history. It's not my performance, unfortunately. No, this is the first time a BBC News crew has used one of these. We get all the glamorous locations, and this is Hexacopter, OK? Our new toy. Six rotors, and there's a little camera on a gimbal down there so it doesn't wobble around. And Rianne here is just changing the battery. We're going to call this Alan, our new cameraman. And here's the team that run it, and built it, in fact. Rhiannon and Owen from the BBC's Global Video Unit. <coughs> you might have guessed we've moved locations to a farm in Cheshire. Owen spent six months training before he was allowed to take the controls today. He's now got a special licence, and this is what he can do. No helicopter or camera crew can get these unique, fantastic shots. There are very tight rules governing hexacopter. You can't fly it over crowds. You have to be 50 metres from roads or buildings which aren't under your control. And it's all regulated by the Civil Aviation Authority. But this machine is going to transform the way TV news looks in the future. Richard Westcott with the BBC's new hexacopter.